Right guys, here uh, I've got seven of my Dainichi Tosai Koraku that I've just pulled out. Uh, a few highlights for me really in the pond. Uh, I think we should probably just start by uh, just admiring what's in front of us really. The absolute epitome of Dainichi, uh, the quality that that farm produces, what they're all about. Uh, we, we can see in here we've got bone structures, superb, Benny quality on another level. Shiroji quality, absolutely popping. Uh, patterns, you know, different styles, very pleasing. Ones that are going to be suited to, to big fish as well. Uh, yeah, abs absolutely superb. This, this is the reason why I really have fell in love with this farm and, and what they are all about. And it's the reason this farm is the dominant force that they are in the, in the koi world, uh, full stop. Uh, yeah, I mean, now just itching to get started with growing these, like I've uh, mentioned in, in previous, uh, previously, they've not had the best of starts. They've been held in a massively overstocked pond with all the other fish. Uh, so now is really when their growing season uh, gets started. And yeah, these, these are going to fly. I mean, we've just got to look. This, this one here was a fish that really, really stood out for me from the absolute get-go when I got it. I uh, really did, I think this is probably, you know, up there with the most valuable fish that I got from the auction. The bone structure was just, you just couldn't ignore it. Uh, coupled with that pattern, the Benny quality, we can see in there, you know, even with that Benny as it is, the depth now, there's still so much more. This sashi is absolutely textbook, it's superb. Perfect depth for, for this sort of Benny style and it's consistent across every part of the pattern. You see that that side, we can see it that side as well. Super consistency, that's going to refine so well. That sashi tells me that I've got nothing to worry about with the Benny. Uh, it's got depth to it, there's elasticity there as the fish grows. And yeah, time to let it do its thing. Uh, really, really can't wait to see what it does. I mean, I'll just quick size check. So that is at 32 cm as it stands. Uh, if I have a look back, I've got the original certificates here. So not bad, I mean, that came in 29 cm. So everything considered, stuck 3 cm on uh, already. I mean, I'm, I'm happy with that, uh, it's, it's a good start. I think the important thing to note is, although they have been heavily stocked and not particularly growing, as I say, they have been moving slowly, which is important because as they get these freed up now and on the growing program, uh, they are going to fly quickly. It's sort of like a, a weird growing pattern with koi, but when they gain the momentum, uh, basically when they start, it can seem initially like you're firing food in, not a lot's happening, then eventually the whole pond comes together, they get moving and, and we just go from there. So they have had a, we'll call it a soft start, easing into it, and now it's time to fly, but that fish is, is just absolutely breathtaking. Uh, you can see others, this is another, really top piece for me this is actually from so all the others in the bowl the other six are from uh dainichi in niigata this is from hiroshi in dainichi toyota from the kinsen koaku line now kinsen was the all japan uh koi show grand champion i can't remember what year it was but for me i think one of the best koaku i've, I've ever laid eyes on the the benny and, and shiroji and just everything about that fish was on another level and tosai from that lineage have been uh incredibly popular uh, and hard to get hold of as well, doesn't seem to be big numbers, but this fish from the outset, for me, again, bone structure, I'm looking at that sashi, got the ultra consistency, amazing bone structure for that, nice length, uh, you can see the head, mouth, everything going on there, you might see, notice the Benny's a bit lighter on the head, uh, been rubbing on something maybe today or in the pond, but what a piece, that, that fish is going to absolutely fly, and I, I'm confident it'll be one of the star pieces uh, towards the end of the year as well. It was later coming in, that fish. Uh, I'd be surprised if it's really done much, but we'll have a look. So that was it there, one of the five star fish out of the auction as well. 33 centimeters when that fish arrived. It doesn't look too much bigger now. Yeah, it's in about 34 there, so. It's moved a little bit, but I say I'm not concerned. Uh, it's their time to go uh, from today, really. And then, yeah, as, as we look around here, again, more and more, we'll just see of it here. Incredible Shiroji bone structure. Benny got it all going on. 
incredibly simplistic pattern with that one this one absolutely popping skin quality i mean look at that you can see on all of them i mean the key was looking you know really good already for toe side that one there got lovely marizome forming we can already see that around all the different areas of the pattern especially that side beautifully scalloped amazing marizome kiwa i mean this is a this fish actually i bought it reminded me of one i'm currently still raising from last year's batch uh just a really similar sort of pattern style to it and body style so yeah could not resist a chance to, to potentially raise another fish like that one out of them uh this one i mean look at the depth of benny on this absolutely incredible so thick and vibrant already with so much depth and intensity you can see that again look from the sashi there's still so much so much depth of color so much to come from it just beautiful and then this one nice another simple uh three step incredible again bone structure on that fish see it's just lost um, a scale in a couple of areas which isn't a problem again really nice refined kiwa you can see elements of marizome on this one and i expect this area here as that starts to uh, develop to pull into the scales and form the marizome even stronger at that point but incredible depth of color there's a beautiful softness to that one as well loads of pigment in the scales and lots and lots to come from that fish overall so yeah we're uh, we'll just do a quick size check on a couple more of them to see that one we just looked at 30 cm when that one arrived and we're currently at about 32 cm on that one so it seems to be quite consistent they've stuck sort of like uh, two or three centimeters on which like I say given the circumstances i'm quite happy with it's the fish we also spoke about red tiger lineage uh, 27 cm when that one arrived looks like it's done a little bit yeah it's up to 30 cm already so pretty consistent uh truly remarkable fish i mean this is the the, the epitome of what dainichi koi farm's all about and yeah epitome of koaku really uh solid lineage that's stooped in the history of the variety and really did focus this year on trying to get more koaku i was a bit light on them in the batches last year and didn't have the best of results because the koaku do tend to go for much higher prices in the auction than everything else uh, makes it tough with them and there's a lot more generally can go wrong with these obviously shower with the sumi can you know mistakes can be masked or problems can be masked a little bit but not really so much with koaku so there's plenty of others in the pond and uh, let's say this is just a pick of my highlights mixture of lineages as well we've got red tiger uh being quite a prominent one that piece is from wild so we're going to get to see some results of, of different sets uh red tiger again we've got so two in there from wild and obviously the kinsen from dainichi toyota so exciting times uh we're not going to do too many sort of progress reports on these because i'm really keen just now to get pushing and get these flying but certainly by the end of the growing season whenever that ends up being uh we'll show you some of these in more detail and i, I can't wait to see where we get with them so uh yeah i'm gonna get these back in the pond and uh thanks for watching